going on guys welcome back to another Red Dead Redemption 2 video we're going to keep the ball rolling and do a main mission with Dutch then we'll just check the map out and see what kind of mission it is I mean what we're doing really Dutch and John plan to meet you in the park opposite Mr. Brante's house so it means Brante lives right here or on the other side anyway let's just go we might be he might be living here most likely yeah he's living there most likely all right what's to say There you are. You boys ready? Of course. What else do you know about this guy? Not much. Just that he's some slick little greasy-haired European. He's clearly got power and money. Now, listen. If we go in there and start shooting up the place, the boy's gonna get shot. Come on. It's high time we met this Mr. Bronte. Are you coming or not? Boy's gonna get shot. Oh, shot away from me already. I ain't got my guns on me though, man. I only got a pistol. Guess a pistol kind of day then. Excuse me, sir. We have an appointment to see Mr. Bronte. Who are you? You get your boss down here and now so we can talk about this like gentlemen. Huh? Run along now, boy. Was that the special Dutch charm I heard so much about? Relax. I got this. Why do you take his son? Excuse me. I said, why did you take his son? We ain't got no problems with you, sir. Nor you with us. But if you want to start one, there's going to be a lot of folks dead in this room before it's done. So, you walk into my city, stinking of shit and looking like this, and you come into my house before you have a bath and you tell me how to act? You ask me to show compassion. Have I not shown you almost infinite compassion already by simply allowing you to breathe in my presence? Indeed you have. Now, we are simple country folk. All we have is each other. And you have gone and you have took his son over some dispute with some inbred ex-slavers. It ain't got nothing to do with any one of us. You had nothing to do with destroying the liquor business. We was innocent bystanders. And that which we weren't innocent of, well, we, we most surely were ignorant of. You twist words, you lie shamelessly. You think you are better than everyone else. Theodore. <laughs> that is a very stiff woman here. Angelo Bronte. <laughs> Dutch Vanderlyn. Uh, Arthur Morgan. Arthur. <laughs> the pleasure is mine. John Marston. <laughs> All mine, please. <laughs> <laughs> uh, so, uh... Can my friend have his son? Of course, of course. <laughs> but uh, should I be out of pocket over a misunderstanding? 
Of course I know you would not want that, huh? How about this? You perform a simple job for me, and you get your son back. What is it? A couple of people have taken to grave robbing in the cemetery. Well, that is a fine place for it, the best. <laughs> I love this guy. I love you. <laughs> See, they've taken not only to desecrating the dead, but they've done so without paying a tribute to the living. The thing is, they see my men, of course, they run a mile. So maybe you two head off, huh? And you, Mr. Van der Lind, huh? you tell me more about my manners. <laughs> Salute. Salute. Oh, more horses there. Nice. It's night time, which I don't like. Okay, girl. And of course, I have to put my my guns back I hate this thing so much I hope they don't put this in like they put it online more than it Come on, then. let's go wait for John to get by alright let's see what's going on in here So oh, foggy, I can't see Jack. I miss him. The hell is he made of fucking metal? Oh, he's got me. John, yeah, this one right here. There's so 
Someone coming! Hide! I found a body! Looks fresh. Still bleeding. Must just been killed. They're still here! Hurry up, then. Come on, quick. Let's get back to Dutch. Well, you took your time. Jack. Where's your host? Ah. Like I said, you <laughs> took your time. Ah. I'm glad to see you. Let's get going. What a fine man. Hey, friend. Thank Mr. Bronte for right? everything. Yeah, I'm fine. Come on. You know, Arthur, Pony boys, kid Mr. Butt. Bronte has invited us to a garden party at the mayor's house. <laughs> and us, just simple country boys. There. And that's finished. Let's go! We have a new camp set up, Jack. You're going to love it. All right, let's get this boy back to his mother. You sure you're okay, son? I'm fine. Papa Bronte said you'd come for me. I'm... I'm sorry. What for? For that. For taking so long. I had a fun time. I had my own room with a big bed and a toy box. And lots of books. Did they... Do anything to you? What? What's that? It's food. It looks like worms, but it's delicious. Is that right? Papa Bronte teach me lots of Italian words. Don't call him that, please. You know, cavallo? That means horse. And pantafola? That's a slipper. A slipper? They gave me two pairs. One for day and one for night. Well, uh... I'm just glad you're all right. Oh, yes. I have the best time, but I can't wait to see Mama. Did she miss me? She sure did. Like you wouldn't know. Oh, he'll be there too. Seems to more or less run this city. At least that's the way he sees it. Hey, they're back. I think I see Jack. Abigail! Abigail! We got you, your son, everything. We got him! Mama! He's fine! I'm fine, Mama. They fed me good. <laughs> Italian food. <laughs> you ever eat that? Come here, you silly boy. <laughs> you got him. You got my son back. Dutch, Arthur, thank you. Thank you. I got my son back! <laughs> Jack, Jack, Jack. How are you, boy? I'm fine, thanks. Everything's okay now. Abigail? Can I go play now? Ah, so, well, we met Mr. Bronte. <laughs> he is uh, quite a character. Is he now? You ever meet an Italian strong man before? <laughs> Not outside of a circus. Well, let me tell you all about him. John, you go be with your family. Arthur, thank you. Boys! We got some work to do. Interesting work. But first, let's have a drink. <laughs> we got Jack back! <laughs> well, the boy's safe, thank goodness. Everyone thank you, Arthur. I... <clears throat> I don't know how to say it. Thank you. I understand. Come on. Do as Dutch says. <clears throat> Go be with your family. Yeah. 
mí me toca ese lunar que tiene cielito lindo junto a la boca no se lo des a nadie cielito lindo trying to like get that picture I'm drinking. And you guys, I want to take a picture for you guys. Okay. So, yeah, guys. I'm going to end the video right here. And I'll see you next time.